posture. We will begin this video with warm-up exercises to prepare the body and stretch the muscles. You don't need to do the entire tape at one time. Each set of exercises can be done by itself. Next, the flexibility exercises will increase the range of motion in the joints and strengthen them. Don't strain yourself with any of these exercises. Do only as much as you can. Some of the flexibility exercises will be shown standing and some sitting. Most of the exercises on this video can be done either standing or sitting. Next, Qigong is an ancient Tai Chi healing exercise system well over 5,000 years old. These exercises strengthen the flow of life energy or Qi to all the cells and organs of the body. This natural energy can keep us active, vital, and healthy throughout life and according to Chinese medical theory, help to prolong life. Each exercise will also be shown from a seated position. Qigong and the next exercise, the form, are what you see people practicing in the parks of China. Next, we will learn some of the movements of the Yang short form. These movements will help to unite mind and body, help with balance and coordination, and reduce stress. They are moving meditation. First, the movements themselves will be demonstrated, and then they will be used as exercise. Remember not to force the movements. Relaxation is the key. When we're relaxed, we can enjoy life. Finally, we will link 14 movements together, part of the Yang short form. By doing a continuous series of movements, your body can learn to flow effortlessly and without excess tension. And then as we come up, we're coming up like a spring. So we're shifting, sinking, shifting to the front, sinking, and then at the end, the hips move first and pull the arms back. The hips move first and press the arms forward. As we turn that in a circle, remember that the hip movements are really what's generating the arm movements. Returning the hip, sinking it, raising the hip and turning it, and that's why the arm is moving that way. Now with the bottom hand, move that in the opposite circle where the left hand is moving to the inside of the body and the right hand is moving to the inside. Let's do a little section of the form where we're linking the movements together in a smooth flow. First from the front and then the rear. First take a breath in and then out and relax. Breathe in as you turn. Breathe out as you step. Breathe in, the body expands as you turn and breathe out as you come to the center. Breathe in as the arms come up and breathe out as the hands come back to the shoulders. Breathe in as the palms come up and out as the palms drop to the sides. Breathe in as you turn, pivoting on the right heel, and breathe out as you shift the weight to the right foot, step with the left foot. Breathe in as you shift to the left and pivot on the back heel. Breathe out as you turn to the left picking up the back heel, pivot on the right toe and breathe in as you shift to the right and pivot on the back heel. Breathe out as you turn to the right and shift the weight back. Still breathing out and breathe in as you shift to the right and the left hand presses on the right. Breathe out as you shift to the back and breathe in as you shift to the front. Breathe out as you shift to the back. Breathe in as you turn, pivoting on the right heel. Breathe out as you shift to the right leg. Breathe in as you pivot on the left toe and the right hand comes out. Breathe out as you step with the left heel. Breathe in as you pivot on the back heel, turning. Breathe out as you turn to the right. And breathe in as the right heel steps out. Breathe out as the hands drop and the right toe comes in. Step with the right heel 
and breathe in as you shift the weight to the right foot. Breathe out as you turn to the left, pivoting on the left toe, and breathe in as the left toe comes out. Breathe out.